good morning i just got here to the um, precision planting like headquarters for winter conference did i sneak out of the hotel like i saw everyone we all know i'm not a morning person if you've seen even one of my videos we know this so i decided to give myself 20 more minutes to wake up and not accidentally be rude because i just don't like mornings man it's not worth it so stopped by mickey d's i got myself a coke to give myself a little extra energy stayed out probably a little too late last night um, hanging out with everyone so i'm super excited um there's so many big things coming from precision um i got to see a little sneak peek of them yesterday afternoon now this there's a man staring at me making this video um, but yeah, I'm so excited to finally get to like share all of it because it's, it's seriously so cool. So, so cool. So first up on the things we learned about at the Precision Planning Winter Conference, this thing is completely new. It's coming out hopefully this year. It's the Reclaim Boom Priming and Recirculation System. So you may not know this, but sprayers now, like you have to spray product on the ground to prime the width of the boom fully. That way the chemical reaches the end of the boom and you're not like leaving any spots in the field that aren't getting sprayed with the full rate of chemical. Unfortunately, that means that we do have to like waste some of that a little bit because it has to be sprayed on the ground to get to the end of the boom. So with this, the chemicals mixed in the tank can be circulated through the booms and back to the tank without ever having to spray that extra chemical on the ground. Super cool. This is going to be super handy and it'll retrofit onto um, the sprayer that you already have. So as you can see, the retrofitted sprayer with the Reclaim system was able to take off and start spraying so much faster than the normal sprayer um, that is just now going off to spray after its booms have been primed. So the next thing that Precision introduced to us while we were at Winter Conference 2022 is the Symphony Nozzle Control System. It's so important when you're spraying chemicals to make sure that you get the right amount of chemical on every acre that you spray. However, there are certain times, like if you're speeding up, slowing down, going around a turn, whether it be sharp or, you know, just like a wide sweeping turn, where those nozzles aren't going to compensate correctly. However, with the Symphony Nozzle Control System, it keeps the sprayer, all the nozzles, maintained at a constant pressure, even when you're changing rates or speed. So I think the coolest part is this turn compensation, because as you can see, the outside doesn't get, it gets a half rate compared to the inside, it'll get double. And with the turn compensation, the chemical is sprayed evenly throughout the whole pass, as you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison. And here's a demonstration of how it actually works with the changing rate and speed. About 50%. So we're actually only spraying roughly 50% of the time to do that. So now if Jordan speeds up to about 10 mile an hour, that duty cycle will go up. So basically we're spraying more or a higher percent of the time. So now we're spraying 75% of the time. So that 08 nozzle is acting kind of like an 06, but that still maintains our pressure at 60 PSI. So now if we increase our speed further, so Jordan's gonna run it up to about 13 mile an hour, our pressure will still sit at 60 PSI, but now our duty cycle is about 95%. So we are continuing to maintain that pressure, but now we're utilizing basically the full capability of that knob. And the reverse happens too is you slow down. So if you slow down to 10 again, so now as we slow down, our duty cycle will decrease so we restrict the flow but we can still maintain that pressure. If we slow down further, so if we drop back down to that seven, we see that continual drop in our duty cycle, but yet we maintain that constant pressure that whole time. And my favorite thing that I saw at Winter Conference 2022, and just absolute favorite thing, coolest thing coming down Precision Planning's pipeline, to me anyway, is their vision-based technology. There are so many applications that this can be used for, and they're still working on it, still in development, and they're still going to continue testing it um, through the spring of 2022. But seriously, so many cool things. This vision-based guidance system is going to be so useful. Even with you know advanced GPS and auto steer, it is so hard to keep from running over um, 
plants that are already up, you know, when you're trying to go down the row. So this steers the sprayer in the crop rows. We've got the two cameras, we've got the cameras watching the two rows and then keeping that tire in between those rows where the GPS, it might pull it a little bit one way or the other. So this is gonna allow the operator to focus on the actual sprayer, um, the toolbar, anything else, and not on steering because that is exhausting at the end of the day. Another useful application of this vision technology is scouting. So these are actually going to record um, weed pressure versus crop stand, all of that. And not only that, it will be able to identify um, different weeds and to categorize them as crop, broadleaf weed, or grass weed. As you can see in this video, the weeds are red and the corn is green. So it will take that data, convert it into a map of weed pressure. That way farmers can better understand the types of weed and the variability of pressure across your fields. Super useful, super important. And this right here is straight from the future. I feel like this is combining the Jetsons with agriculture. So if they combine the Symphony nozzle control system and their vision technology, they are putting together a plan to target spray weeds. So if you watch, as he sets the weed down, the camera will pick that up that it's a weed, identify it as a weed versus just the corn crop. When he picks it up, the spray boom doesn't spray behind the corn, but it does spray the weed. And even this tiny little weed that he's picking up now, he's gonna put it right next to the corn. It will still pick that up and spray it. This technology from Precision Planting has the promise to be just as useful as it is super freaking cool. While it was so much fun to see all of the cool new stuff that Precision Planting has coming down the road, we also had breakout sessions on fertilizer inputs, the rising costs of those, getting your planner ready for planting season, making sure that your farm is going to run as smoothly as it possibly can in 2022. I'm so glad that I was able to make it to the Precision Planning Winter Conference this year. It was such a fun learning experience. Not only that, but I got to see people that I only get to see once or twice a year at farm shows and meet so many of the precision planning people that you know I see on the internet, I see making the, the videos. So that was really fun to meet them in person and to be able to ask them questions face to face. After going for the first time, I can't believe that I've never been to Winter Conference before. But let me tell you, this is something that I already have on my calendar for next year.